Ever wondered where that doll-eyed, menacing young beauty of the Addams Family is now? Christina Ricci, the child star turned horror film Best Actress, with an estimated $20 million net worth, still has knuckles to crack. This dark-edged beauty has some dark magic on her sleeves that we need to discover. By the way, if you enjoy watching these types of videos, please hit that subscribe button so that we can create more for you. We are truly thankful for subscribing. Now, let's open Pandora's box. Richie is Scots-Irish by blood. Christina was born on the 12th of February, 1980, in Santa Monica, California. She is the youngest of four, with siblings named Raphael, Dante, and Pia. Her parents are Sarah Murdoch, who modeled for Ford Agency in the 1960s, and Ralph Ritchie, a law graduate who tried several unconventional career paths other than practicing law, such as gym instructing, counseling, and primal scream psychotherapy that focuses on releasing childhood trauma. Her parents divorced before she reached her teenage years. Her lush Italian surname has quite an interesting origin. In an interview, she explained that four or five generations back, the family was married to Irish blood and bore sons who also married women of Irish descent. And thus, Christina is more of a Scots-Irish by blood than Italian. The family lived in Montclair, New Jersey, and she attended Edgemont Elementary School, Glenfield Middle School, Montclair High School, and Morristown Beard School, after which she enrolled in professional children's school in New York. Young Christina punched her way for a role. She was in a school play for the 12 Days of Christmas at the age of 8 and was discovered by a local theater critic. The soon-to-be star admitted that she literally fought for the part when she taunted the original cast, a boy, and punched him in the face. She stated in an interview, I've always been a really ambitious person. I guess that's the first time it reared its ugly head. She was featured in spoof commercials aired on Saturday Night Live. It resulted in her receiving a SAG After card, a membership for those with work as background actors. The union promotes workers' rights in the industry and establishes status as a performer. Her cinematic debut came in 1990, co-starring Cher in the film Mermaids. That film made her win the Best Young Actress Supporting Role in a Motion Picture by Young Artists Awards. She also appeared in the film's music video, The Shoop Shoop Song, together with Cher and Winona Ryder. She perfectly personified Wednesday Addams. Then, in 1991, she got her infamous role as Wednesday Addams for the supernatural dark comedy film The Addams Family, created by Charles Addams initially for a cartoon of the same title. It was also the directorial debut of Barry Sonnenfeld. The film had a sequel in 1993, Addams Family Values, where Christina reprised her role as the melancholic daughter of the mysterious fictional family consisting of the witch mother called Morticia, a wealthy mafia-looking father called Gomez, their odd children named Wednesday and Pugsley, an uncle who can self-generate electricity, a Frankenstein-looking butler, a hairy cousin, and a disembodied hand called The Thing. The production had an over-budget of roughly $5 million due to constant rewrites, the cast's health issues, and delayed filming. Orion partnered with Paramount to finish the film and bring it to the audience. The painstaking efforts proved well as the film had a commercial success, grossing over $190 million worldwide. The teen star received Best Supporting Actress by Fangoria Chainsaw Awards for her role as Wednesday. She portrayed the love of a ghost. In 1995, her gloomy character portrayals were softened by a live-action adaptation of Casper, also a feature film directorial debut of Brad Silberling. It was based on the cartoon Casper the Friendly Ghost created by Seymour Reed and Joe Oriolo. Christina took on the role of the teenage love interest of Casper. She co-starred with the handsome Devon Sawa as Casper's human form and Bill Pullman as her fictional father. Surprisingly, before Bill was cast, many award-winning stars were considered for the part such as Tom Hanks, Jim Carrey, Steve Martin, Robin Williams, Kurt Russell, 
Michael Keaton, Dennis Quaid, Martin Short, Tim Allen, and Chevy Chase, amongst others. Fortunately, they took on Bill Pullman. He played it splendidly. The teenager Christina Ricci, on the other hand, got the role throat to throat with stellar young actresses Scarlett Johansson and Kirsten Dunst. The film was the box office hit of that summer, grossing over a total of $280 million, exceeding the original budget of $55 million. With its success, the film received several nominations and the young actress was awarded Best Performance by a Younger Actor by Saturn Records in 1996. The teen star became provocative. She then took on a more mature role in Ang Lee's art film, The Ice Storm. Natalie Portman was the first choice but had to pull out due to the role's provocative requirement for such an age. In 1998, she had a bit role in the film Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas co-starring for the first time with the versatile Johnny Depp. She also starred in the crime comedy drama film directed and written by Vincent Gallo, Buffalo 66, wherein she received several awards and nominations, after which she received a nomination for Best Actress by Golden Globe for her portrayal of Dee Dee Druitt, a loudmouth girl in a dark comedy seductive drama. She bagged several awards and nominations for that role. Variety, an American media company, described her dialogue deliverance as that of Bette Davis. Meanwhile, Entertainment Weekly considered her role, Dee Dee Truitt, as one of the worst Oscar snubs ever. In 2000, Sleepy Hollow awakened the cinemas during the Halloween season. The now prominent actress co-starred again with Johnny Depp, who just like her likes taking on unusual edgy characters. For this film, she was awarded Best Actress by Saturn Awards and Favorite Actress in Horror by Blockbuster Entertainment Awards that same year. She had several guest appearances in numerous critically acclaimed television series such as Ally McBeal, Malcolm in the Middle, and Grey's Anatomy. She is working on the series Yellow Jackets from 2021 until the present. Throughout her acting career, she has reached over 70 films and television series combined, not to mention over 30 nominations and awards. She fought for Love Too. In 2008, Christina met the comedian and actor Owen Benjamin on the set of All's Fair in Love. They were engaged in 2009, but two months later broke it off. In 2013, she announced her engagement with the backstage technical personnel, James Heardigan, whom she met during the filming of Pan Am, soon after they bore a son. After seven years of marriage, Christina had to file for a divorce. In 2021, she was granted a domestic violence restraining order against her former husband. The actress got a hold of her son's custody and the father was allowed visitation rights. That same year, the actress announced that she is pregnant with her boyfriend and hairstylist Mark Hampton and announced their marriage later that year. She bore her second child, a daughter. The actress struggled with anorexia. She is considered one of the muses of the renowned oil painting artist Mark Ryden, considered the godfather of pop surrealism by Interview Magazine. Her notable facial features and her general image appeared on several of his paintings and sketches. Being constantly in the public's eye and as a painter's muse, it is no wonder Christina Ricci struggled with anorexia nervosa, an eating disorder described as body weight disturbance affecting food consumption with the desire to remain physically thin or under weight. It also resulted in anxiety. The horror film actress has advocacies. Aside from acting, she's also busy being the national spokesperson for RAIN, an organization fighting against physical assault mostly centered on women through public education and consulting services. Fashionable Christina Ricci was tagged on the worst dress list for having worn fur by the organization PETA, an animal rights advocacy institution. Christina announced that she would stop wearing it and thus the organization removed her from the list. She was tagged as hottest, coolest young veteran by the Young Hollywood Awards in 2001. This 2022, Christina Ricci is preparing for her comeback in the upcoming mystery horror comedy television series Wednesday, produced by MGM Television and to be premiered on Netflix. Will she reprise the role or not? But the most important question is, will it be aired on Wednesdays? I doubt it. She made her way scaring along and got the A-star life indeed. Want more? Like this video and scroll to our page for the latest celebrity videos.